Hi guys, so today is Sunday and I've been busy cooking up a bit of a storm in our kitchen as you would have seen if you have seen my Instagram page already that this morning I made a Spanish inspired omelette that was super tasty. If you'd like to know more about that please do let me know in the comments below and um, I'll be able to go for a step by step kind of guide on that. We do have quite a lot left over so we're going to use that for lunch. I think my partner might take it tomorrow and some sandwiches for lunchtime, it's really nice. Um, if you put it inside of a sandwich as well. Everything in bread is always good, as they say. Um, so this afternoon I have made two lots of pasta dishes. Um, this one here at the back is for tomorrow night's dinner. I was going to make spaghetti bolognese, but instead, of course, I changed my mind. Um, it's slightly different to the one that I made last week, being that the sauce is different and so on. I went for a, a red pepper, it's kind of like a sweeter sauce than a traditional spaghetti bolognese sauce. Um, it's really nice. And I added um, a few different vegetables. So it's got carrots, zucchini, some tomatoes with green pepper, some mozzarella throughout it as well, that gives it a really nice ooey gooey kind of a taste. and. It's stringy as well which is lovely it's got some red onions in there um, which I sauteed off with the minced meat it's got two cloves of garlic and some fresh basil as well then um, a tin of chopped tomatoes as well so on top of it I just finished it off with some raw sliced red onions we absolutely love red onions in our house <laughs> well I do and some fresh basil and again some more mozzarella that I just tore and added on to the top so you could eat it as it is just like this dish it out of the pan and off you go or um, which is what we intend on doing is popping it into the oven so that the inside is nice and warm and moist and the top is going to have like a nice kind of a crunchy-ish sort of texture not not too crunchy we don't want it burnt um the mozzarella on the top will also melt making it that stringy gooeyness which is really nice um yeah so that's for tomorrow i made another big tray of it in addition to the second pasta dish purely for the fact that i'm i'm making some extra food to deliver to somebody so that's why we went with the big tray again uh, and that'll do obviously for a couple of days lunch as well so it won't go to waste in the smaller tub i've just put it into a tupperware container sorry it doesn't look too pretty in there but that is bow pasta and i had a tin of pink salmon in the cupboard so i just mixed that into it nothing in there is cooked apart from the pasta so it's got some raw red onions a load of spinach chopped up some pine nuts which are really really good in, in the pasta dishes it also has some vine tomatoes that are chopped up and then finished off with one clove of garlic very finely chopped up and thrown in and then a good pouring of olive oil which is just super delicious and gives it a real nice silky kind of look to it and also helps loosen it all up so it doesn't all stick together <laughs> which is really good so that's our two meals that I've made today so that's dinner for tomorrow and also some lunch and you know if you get a little bit peckish during the day you can just have a little bowl of it to keep you keep you going so later on today I'm gonna cook my chicken I'm not gonna do roast chicken how I said I was going to which I, I'm not doing a whole roast chicken anyway I was just doing chicken breast but I'm not gonna roast them now I think I might dice them up and do them a bit sort of hot and spicy and I was doing mash but I think I might do either some sweet potato fries or just boiled potatoes I'm not too sure yet but I am sticking to my mixed vegetables that I am going to stick with because I have a big bag of it in the freezer so I want to try and use that up. So that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Um, if you have any comments or have any questions please do feel, feel free to ask. Just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoy the video and why not try making a nice pasta bake yourself and uploading it. Tag me in Andrea's home cooking so I can, I can see it too. That would be great okay um enjoy your sunday it's a beautiful day outside so if you can get out and enjoy okay take care bye